Hi, my name is Teacher Bell and welcome to another tips, review, and tutorial. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so you will be updated with my new videos. So for today, we will be discussing how students can write on a digital assignment. So for this tutorial, we will be needing Jamboard, Google Slide, and of course, our Google Classroom. There are a lot of whiteboards out there that you can use in your online teaching and I have a video tutorial of this as well. Please check the links that I will be putting in the description below. But we will specifically use Jamboard for this one because of the Google Drive feature. So let me just show you how I usually do it before. I just insert here some key details for them too write their answers on. However, I want my students to actually write their answers on it just like uh, how we do it on a pen and paper task. So this is the math task I want my students to show me a solution to. So what we can do is to take a screenshot of this. So press print screen to copy this image. Go to your Google slide open a new template and then just paste it and then we can crop this one to get just what we need and then just position it to occupy the whole space once you are done cropping your image you save this as a jpeg file so go to download save as jpeg save now it's in your computer and then we will go ahead on Google Jamboard, which is jamboard.google.com. So create a new whiteboard and insert the image that we have saved from our Google slide. So upload image. So this is their task. And I usually put sticky notes just to remind them what to do. Remember to explain your answer using the multiplication strategies and properties. And put some elements of Bitmoji in there okay and since some of my students are new to this one I also put a reminder to write your answers below using your mouse pad if they're using the computer or your fingers if they are using the tablet so save I choose this background okay, to make it appear like a paper and you can also put some elements in it. So this is the space where the students will write their answers. So now I'm going to show you how you can share it to Google Classroom. And I'm going to show you a demo on how the students can access it. Click share. And make sure to change the setting into anyone can edit. So change to editor. Okay, done. Go to your Google Classroom and create a new assignment. Add the link that we have copied a while ago and assign this to all your students individually. So make a copy for each student and assign. This is how they can access it from their computer and later I'll show you how they can access it on their iPad. So once they click the task, it will bring them to the jamboard.google.com. Now they can use their cursor to answer this. So if they choose the pen, they can write on it. So three, so that is one equation. Another equation could be five times three equals 15. Once they are done, they go back to their Google Classroom, view assignment, and they submit their work. So turn in. And now I'm going to show you how a student can access it from their iPad. Once they click on the task, click the arrow below to show the task. Click it and as you can see, it won't open in the Google Classroom platform. So what they can do is to click that small arrow at the right corner of their tablet so that it will bring them to the Jamboard app. So as you can see, this is what we have wrote earlier because I'm using the same student account. So we can add, so we can say five plus five plus five 
equals 15. So, you can do that. And then, once they are done, it automatically saves also in their Google Drive. And they cannot turn in their assignment on this platform since they're on Google Drive. So, what they can do is to go back to Google Classroom and click Submit. Okay, and done. So this is one way to make our assignments interactive. And you can actually see their solutions using their own writing. You can do the same in all worksheets just like this one. This is another example that I have copied. So instead of making this worksheet editable like using Kami, we can also insert this in the Jamboard whiteboard. So to do that, you can just change the page setup of this one to make it proportional to the photo 8 by 10. Save. And the same process, you go to Jamboard. So insert image. So you can just put it this way. However, you cannot change the page setup of the Jamboard. So you can just leave it like this. And the students can write on the boxes once they click on the pen. So this will be 2 times 3 equals 6. So that's one way on how students can write on a digital assignment. I hope you learned something from this and let me know what you think about this tutorial. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye!